Yes. Miner's not look like that. Let me show them mine. Seven days of the week. I got ways we can eat. Counting ways on the beach. Learning names we can meet. I'm booked. I'm booked. I'm booked. What's up, you guys? It's Kenyo here. I'm doing another mukbang, and as you can see today, I'm doing a chili mukbang. Danielle's here with me. She's not on camera, but she's on camera. I mean, you can see her. It's her right there, so you can see her. I'm on a lower chair. She's not, like, <laughs> super tall mm -hmm. compared to me. I'm on this lower chair. All I want is a fellow playlist. All my friends got letters from the president. He has each one to be in his cabinet. And everything in between when I open up my purse, my hand, then you ever seen the light. So that I can like see my face inside the inside the thing. But because usually I can't see my like anyway, I'm just trying to make it good where you can see the food and you can see everything. So that's why I'm on a lower chair and she's on uh, the chairs that came with the table. So she's at appropriate height. That shattered the whole thing. We're going whole fourth wall thing here. Anyway, um, so today we're doing chili. I already prayed, but I I was like, I'll pray again if it's like an encouragement to someone else. But you know, thank you God, bless this food. I pray that you um you know you bless anyone who's watching. I don't want to hear any bad news about anyone. I don't want any bad news in the comments. Oh God, anyone who's watching this, I pray that you bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. So, um, thank Amen. you guys, and yes, I pray that this food is also blessed. So let's dig all the way in to this goodness. We got chili. We got ch um, corn we have chips. Turkey chili. Turkey we chili. We have green onions, white onions with cilantro, avocado, some um, Fritos, the chili cheese Fritos, sour cream, and cheese. Yes, yes, she said it exactly correct. We have those things. Um, so it's about to go down. It's about to go super duper, duper duper, uber duper down. Is that avocado? What are yes. these called again? These are, um, chili cheese Fritos. Chili cheese Fritos. So I'm going to drop some of that in right away into my chili. I'm weird. I like to do mine in sections. Like, I like... No, I've never done it like this before. I'm only doing it because I'm doing this for the viewers. And it's unleashing my deep inner creativity. I'm gonna go chips, then I'm gonna go cheese. Oh, yes. A little bit more cheese. Okay. That's too much cheese. I know what you guys are thinking at home. You're like, oh, Kenya, that's too bad. You're making bad, bad health decisions. You're making bad health decisions. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's just me. Getting back at you for saying whatever you're saying to me. Just joking. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching this channel. I'm going to now endeavor to discover interesting topics. So what's going on in the end of thing? What's, what, what's hot? What's hot in the commune? I just added more cheese. There's like I meant two to things more chips. that I want to talk about. Oh, wow. Well, to you have topics already. The Tyler Perry, A Fall from Grace. Loved it. And Loved it. Let's also, talk about, let's start there. Don't even get into the also yet. Let's start there. Tyler Perry, A Fall from Grace. So I haven't watched the whole movie yet, right? But there's always, like, mm. I appreciate a black producer, actor, like, he had some studios. Not to mention, we work on a media company together. So yeah, we're, yeah. we're coming from. We're coming from, we know media. We, we want the best for the industry. Yeah. So but we also have different perspectives on this. So. Yeah, we do. Um, I've always had an issue with Tyler Perry's movies or plays because I always feel like something's just off. And it's just like, it would seem like I'm trying to be a bully towards him, right? He's a, you know, a black, you know, actor, producer, you know, owner of a studio, all stuff. But, like, they dragged him for his lace front that he had in there. Like, every movie he does like the hair is just not right and then i think on this one i saw a clip of the guy who was just eating air and walk like fake water like you know i just would think my editors would be more conscience conscience conscience, conscience yeah 
of the fact that, that there was. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry. I just licked the bowl. You probably cut that out. Um, out. Um, you would just think that whoever was editing the film would catch those, these things, but they're never really caught. So there's a, an instance when they're at the diner, <clears throat> and this guy in the foreground, the background is basically drinking air. There's no water in the glass and eating air because he doesn't actually like touch his food or anything like that. So I thought it was really weird. And you know, I think Tyler Perry is like awesome. It's amazing, you know, what he's done. But I think little stuff like that really shouldn't even be happening. Yes. Mine does not look like that. Let me show you mine. Move. This is like yeah, killer. She's, she's doing regular stuff over there. I do sections. I kind of want some Taco Bell fire sauce. Mmm. But yeah, guys. I have to watch the whole movie, but, you know. I just noticed that stuff in Tyler Perry's work. I think he's amazing. I love what he's doing, but sometimes he just doesn't really like take heed to, you know, like, hey, that wig looks weird. You shouldn't have done that, you know. But yeah. Anyway, yep, I know what you're saying. But as a man who is in the media stuff, when I see Tyler Perry, I'm like, my friend, continue to kill it. Because you are, you're you're destroying. No, I'm, you're 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 blazing a field across the. You're, you're you're blazing a path across the field of question, production. Though. If you if you because he's not in it for the no, art like no, that. Watch I'm going to be honest with you. I have a question. Like if, he if, is. If you had but, a you know mm -hmm. a work like some media work you were doing yeah. right, and the editor didn't catch like yeah. all this stuff in the like in the. Let background. me tell you about myself. Yeah, I know what you're about to. Okay, go ahead. So, would you not? Let me tell you what I'm about. Yeah, go ahead. This is my career because I understand. You said, how, go ahead, stop talking. I know, but everyone has their own career, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking. I understand what you're saying. How would I do it? Tyler Perry, right now, he's like, let me build. Let me t the biggest studio ever. You know that would be possible for a person like me, and then do a bunch of stuff that's associated with that. Now, I would be similar. Now, with a different caveat, because I have a rule of aesthetics that I'm personally dealing with right now in my own life. And it comes down to the fact is, not only do I want to do a bunch of different stuff, but I want people to feel the aesthetic. So, to your point, no. I would not let what I believe my aesthetic to be, but I, I have a feeling that he's also not letting his aesthetic standards slip. These are just his aesthetic standards. Yeah. But for me, mine would be, what, what, what we, when you see, you'll see, you'll see, because I'm going to deliver it yeah. in product. But you'll see what I really want. On, this, on video aesthetic, you know, I love the best movies with the best special effects. Mm -hmm. That's all I've ever... Well, I mean, why would I? I could never want less. I don't. I don't even like watching old movies. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even like watching old movies. I can't even. Definitely not with science fiction. Science fiction, I can't go past back like five years because I just. I don't. The fakeness uh, annoys me too much. Unless the movie itself was that good, but movies that like science fiction movies, I can't. I can't. I can't watch an old movie. It's not fun. Yeah. Ooh, that fire sauce is really good on this. I haven't yeah. even put it any sour cream, but... Sour cream actually levels <clears throat> it up super duper. I'm about to cough again. Who announces they're about to cough again? Mm. No, because I coughed in my last video. It was like a... Well, I clipped it to be the most. Anyway. I'm going too far well now. Now I've lost the people. <laughs> I had another topic. I forgot what it was. What do we... Oh, wait. Okay, so... My aesthetic... When it comes to... Film... 
Do I think Tyler Perry hit that? What I think he's hitting is he's hitting a genre. I'll tell you because there are constraints. There are believable constraints to any genre, and the and the those constraints change depending on what's going on. And I think for what he's producing, I think he is doing what the best of best entrepreneurs do, which is he's barely making the turn. What that means is he's getting the best of all worlds. He's getting the most money as far as ticket sales. He's being able to produce the most number of projects. And he's getting the highest artistic uh, content that he's able to produce as an artist. And I haven't watched any of his stuff because to me it is like a book of poems and it's one that I just haven't gotten around to read. But I do like what he's doing and saying because it's just a genre, but he's turned it into studios. If your genre creates studios, my friend, by all means, have at it. Upon the streets. With chaos. Upon the streets. And hire me, you know. That's one thing I I'll say. You know, hire me. <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> I was going to try to make that? it deeper yeah. than that. Y'all see that? Say, I was gonna say, that? He has a problem. But, uh, anyway. I do have a problem. Oh my gosh. Now I'm literally pouring chips out. Mine mine's better. Wait. It's over there. Oh. Oh, you're pouring it out. Oh no. There. Mm -hmm. Mine is more colorful. <clears throat> If it pours out on top of those electronics, then we're all dead. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's talk about stuff. What's the so Tyler Perry? I'm gonna I'm gonna close it. I know we were we're done on it, but I'm gonna close it out and say Where congratulations, good sir. I, I'm gonna give you on those movies. I've never watched any of your stuff. I don't like the stuff where you're dressed up as an old lady. It's not interesting. You're to not me. doing that no more. I did like Big Mama's house though, and that was Martin Lawrence. <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't like it because said, it's not I did okay like to Big do Mama's it. House. So I'm I'm literally telling you that I don't like the job that you did. It has nothing to do with like you dressing up as an old woman. It has to do with you, those movies. Okay, he can't hear you. He's not yeah. talking. I just want to let it be known. I don't want it to seem like this. There's literally nothing wrong with playing any role. I just didn't like those movies. I don't want it to seem weird or anything like that, but. I love what you're, you're doing like you're as. Be in a meeting. I love what you're doing as an entrepreneur, as an artist. We are going to be in a meeting, of course, one day. Mm -hmm. With what I'm doing, actually, probably not. Probably not. Yeah. There's just too much room in, in in business. So, but um, anyway, what's the next topic? Where should we go to? What's the worst date you've ever been on? The worst date. See. You actually asked this question in some other video you did once, I remember, and I remember thinking all the bad dates I had were because of me, so it's not like a, like I can't remember I'm it funnily and be like, oh, oh, this one time this lady came up, she was looking bunk like a, like a junk, and bunk like a junk, and I, I, I just, I had the worst time. Usually it's like, oh, there was this beautiful lady, and you know, I was lame. You were lame? I didn't have any money, or I didn't have any confidence, or it was one of those things. You have confidence? Oh yeah, confidence for me was like something. That's basically what I spent about. I would say twenty to about twenty six was researching confidence. Mm -hmm. Literally. Hmm. I was I was like, okay, how can I how can I feel okay? in a moment. I was like, I don't care about anything until I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about cussing earlier, right? Mm. I do think that people put too much emphasis on cursing, but they're yeah. just words, you know? I don't, I don't, I'm trying to remember mm. if I cussed and I got in trouble. I think I did get in trouble one time because I did say something. I think as a poet, it goes two levels deep for me because I believe in words so deeply, right? And cuss words aren't words. They're actually, it's like, uh, it's like farting kind of, you know what I mean? Like 
What? It really is. Like, cussing is like farting. You should only let it out if that was the only option. Yeah. That's truthfully what I mean. Um, and it's only the only option if you didn't cry properly. <laughs> For the day, quite truthfully, you know what I mean. Like you don't the know only time, in a day, though. if you get caught either farting or cussing in front of a group of people more than five times in your life, you 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 delved into <laughs> you delved into a, a difficult area. It means that there's something fundamentally wrong with your approach <laughs> to life because nobody else is doing that. So, obviously, there's something fundamentally going on, or you're doing it on purpose. In which case, yes, there's something fundamentally wrong. Because that means you're not getting what you want out of communication, so you're taking it to another level, which is pre-violence in nature. You know? Oh. So. Anyway. Sorry, guys. I just got my teeth done today and they hurt. It's probably the weirdest mukbang that's ever existed in the history of mukbangs. No, it's I hope not. this audio is have good you, though. Have you not heard about Amber Lynn? This girl is crazy. Mm. Who's Amber Lynn? Every time I look at your bowl it looks like you added more. That's how it feels to me. I'm like, how's this not going down? I'm not even eating out of like a hunger thing. I'm eating out of like a aggression towards the quantity of food. Thing. I just had to add all the chips in the bowl for me to have even a good enough ratio for me to continue. But I'm going to kill this bowl. I have no... And my battery's still at 100%. We're in the twilight zone. That's it. This is the twilight zone. This is what I hate about the twilight zone. Nothing's ever straightforward. Everything frontwards, backwards, backwards, frontwards. <sighs> Freaking Twilight Zone. Freaking one. <clears throat> Twilight Zone. Get out of here. Twilight Zone. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I feel like for the first time with these videos, Danielle's realizing, oh, we're not on the same team. I can't even pretend to be on the same team as you because. We don't have the same team energy. What I'm about is it, and what you're about. But yes, that's true. Sometimes I'll I'll zig off and zag all the way. It's eleven seventeen. I didn't know it was that late. Man, it's perfect time. Perfect time to get one last. You as delicious bites in. Yeah. Oh, your cheese is mm. uh, Y'all don't know. Ah, uh, I've got to turn off the I have the chili still on. I'm never not aware of what's going down in front of me, food wise. I'm here like a deer in headlights. I'm here. Like a captain okay. who's a bunny with the ears, yes, sir. with the skirts, and the hers. One thing is, youth. Youth is stifled. Do you know what 16-year-olds are doing now? You wouldn't even be able to imagine it. Wouldn't be able to imagine it. And they won't tell you, because you're a loser. Doing perks. Mm. Molly. Percocet. They're telling hilarious jokes with their hilarious friends, unadulterated by the adultering. Adulterated, it's not unadulterated. It is unadulterated by the adultery sinking adults. That's not true. Okay. Not Please stop tainting teenagers with what you know is going to happen to their life, and maybe it won't happen in their life. Let them live. I'm not saying don't be a parent. That's called okay, the matter oh, she, That's called distribution oh my of information. Gosh. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to explain this video one day and it's gonna be like what was going on here? Eight I don't know. All the cheese. What's going on with you? What's going on with me is that I'm eating a little bit. 
talking about this shit. A little bit. Important. It's full because you keep adding more stuff to it. No, I'm 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 adding things that allow me to eat the chili a little bit more easily. What's wrong with the chili? Mmm. Yeah, the chili is good. It's the best ever, actually. That's why all these sides are like a journey through paradise. This is actually one of the best <clears throat> single days of my eating life. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the freaking truth. This is one of the best days of my eating life, guys. The fact that it's turkey, too. Super health. Come on. Are you whacked, bro? This is amazing. Turkey. And the onions are coming off really well. And mommy. I can't even taste that mommy actually. It's been dead and mommy. I Delicious. can actually I think mm. it could down long enough so that mm. mama is just Everything the mm-hmm. texture is It's gone, bro. Like it's just it's every it's like honestly this is all danielle too she was literally going over this for like an hour i was like doing different things i was like hop on my laptop come around come around the corner she's like What? I would just see her stirring, shaking, adding ingredients. She'd be like, I don't know about the the Instapot. It, we eventually had to take it from the Instapot, put it in the regular, a regular pot on the stove. I didn't really know what was going on. I was kind of like assisting by crowdsourcing of energy. But I was mostly doing my own thing. But she was killing it, and it is killed. It is yeah. killed. It is killed. Yeah. You, you're never going to get this, honestly. So... Whatever you're eating in your life is subpar. Me, myself, my battery won't even go less than 100%. That's how, oh wait, never mind, my battery's charging. That's why it's not going less than 100%. That makes sense. Well, I'm charging too on this chili. Hmm. Only thing I missed out on was not having enough sour cream. That's because I didn't want to go to the store. But I, you know, I don't even think I missed out on because I'm so full and I'm just full off chili and these corn chips. Like that was a thing. I know she's had a lot. Like, but honestly, I don't have a really deep chili history like in my life or anything. So this is you know what? I grew up eating chili. This just gave me a, a super huge realization. What? I really like the pizza at Chinese buffets. And I realize I have a fascination for poorly made pizzas or amateur pizzas. And I'm just realizing my dad used to make a lot of amateur. That's why I switched it to amateur from poorly. My dad used to make a lot of amateur pizzas during a certain stretch of our life that I consider kind of a golden era, really, because I was like a certain kind of young, and everything was like a certain kind of just cool, even though I realized that was a very subjective view. You know, I viewed the stability of an era. I valued that over profitability, you know, even at other times when there was more money. I viewed that era of stability as my golden era. But anyway, those pizzas, I think the eating of those pizzas where he had time to craft these pizzas, these amateur pizzas, and and that time of him cooking it and me eating it, I think when I eat amateur made pizza, I go back to that place. Amateur pizza is my golden era. And now chili is another golden era to me. I'm full, so I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video too. How long is this? It's like 25 minutes of chili eating. I could stop it. Well, 
Danielle's not really policing me on the keys right now. So. A little avocado. Mm -hmm. A little avocado yeah. with, with the chili. Mm. I think I'm done here for now. Thanks for eating with us, guys. And dogs. Hello. Oh, bye. On their toes, all my friends are CEOs, hidden tigers on their toes, all my friends are CEOs, hidden tigers on their toes, all my friends are CEOs, hidden tigers on their toes. I woke up in the boardroom and it looked like a monsoon. We have skyscrapers in the plans and a factory in Japan, headquarters in Lagos. All I want is a fellow playlist All my friends got letters from the president He asked each one to be in his cabinet And we never had a day off Just board plans and take off You think I'm talking about an airport But that's not what I go there for We build plans like Spaceland Tesla engine in our tour van Oakland Gary V with the passport Creating Jesus and our passport All my friends I see Hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs. Hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs. Hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs. Hidden tigers on their toes. I'm fully focused on the equity. Yup. Diversifying portfolios until the commas increase. All my friends have multiple income streams. CEOs of the companies performing overseas. Getting foreign currency, opening for the culture of ministry, handling business on the Cuban beach, returning to the states with global entry. We're moving forward. Progress is a destiny. Ambition is the recipe, making history. Entrepreneurs creating another masterpiece. Ownership, cruising ownership, Caribbean trips. All my friends went from the streets to climbing ladders. Now they at the top of the industry. Representing Dab Troll Project 4 and the number one itinerary. All my friends are CEOs. All my friends are CEOs. Hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs. Hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs. Hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs. Hidden tigers on their toes. For my private jet, yeah, they know it's me Capsule hotels and everything in between When I open up my purse, my hand than you ever seen No, I don't speak Japanese, but I know how to write a beat Already got a look in, yo, for making this heartbeat I 
wanna write a song in Japanese. My bye, Boku wa yari.